hello guys welcome to the full stack project youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create this kind of layout using flexbox so you can see this is a very responsive flexbox layout and it's full width it takes the full width of the screen and let's see how we can do that and also this is responsive so this is fully responsive and you can cover up almost all the basics of using flexbox to create this kind of website layouts so let's get started so in here i have created a index.html file and style.css file and i have linked this style.css to my index.html file and i have run a live server here so easily you can see uh, what's going on in the code in an instance from the right side of the screen so first of all let's lay, uh, create the layout for the HTML the structure so I'm going to create a div with a wrapper class And this is the header and after that I'm going to create the main content area and next I'm going to create the footer so all these three components the main components are in the inside this wrapper class here in the main wrapper div element and next in the main component this is where I'm going to add two sidebars and the main uh, content block so I will name it as div.main so some lower some here and for the header I will add an h1 called navbar yep and also I'm going to add uh, two sidebars inside the main content and we add a class called sidebar1 as well so this has two classes sidebar and sidebar one let's wrap it inside h1 and also we are going to add another sidebar called sidebar two And let's add another h1 inside the footer so it's easy for us to understand the layout structure so this is the main layout structure in HTML and next we will style this up so first of all I'm going to uh, reset most of the styles so I'm going to give padding 0 and margin 0 for the body and you can easily see what's going on from the right side of the screen and also I'm going to give height 100% so it will take the body will take the entire height and next I'm going to style the wrapper class so the wrapper means inside the wrapper it has everything like it's same like the body in this case it will wrap up the nav bar and you know up to footer so 
I'm going to give height 100% in there as well and we're going to make it display flex and flex direction of column the default flex direction is raw but we are going it with column and we are going to text align center so this will align every text inside this uh, column to center and then we are going to style the main content main content covers everything from here to sidebar 2 so we will style this up we are going to give display flex and we are going to give a property called flex flow and give row wrap so display flow means it consists with this uh, flex direction and flex wrap so we are going to uh, change the direction to row in here and also we are going to wrap if there's no enough space we are going to stack it one upon one and we are going to wrap it up that's why we use uh, wrap here and in here also I'm going to give height 100% so this will this section will get the entire screen so that's how we can use uh, our content to stretch from uh, top to bottom of the entire screen so this main content covers from side by one side by two and this main content so and we are going to uh, occupy the all the existing space here and also I'm going to catch all the direct elements direct child elements of the main content and I'm going to give a flex one hundred percent that's mean the flex basis will be hundred percent and the flex grow property set to one and flex shrink property as also set to one here and also I can add a little bit of margin that one uh, you will see the margin and everything once we add the colors for this uh, content so I'm going to add colors starting from the header uh, I'm going to give this background color for this one and for the footer I'm going to give this color and also I'm adding uh, margin auto uh, margin top to set setting the margin top to auto since it will uh, give it, it, it will stretch your foot, footer to the bottom of the of your screen so you'll see the margin top section in future and also I'm going to give some color for the main section as well and I'm going to give the font size of 25 pixel and a padding of some pixel and we'll align the text of the main content to left yeah scroll 
and we also can give colors for sidebar 1 and sidebar 2 so it's same like the colors we added for the header so this is how it's going to look after adding the colors for sidebar 1 and sidebar 2 and next here okay now you can see and now what we are going to do is we are going to add some response responsiveness for this one so once we are responsive in the full screen what we want to do is we have to you know get this main content here sidebar one sidebar two into a single row and uh, occupy the space in a single row so we can uh, give different flex values like uh, ratios flex ratios to get that uh, to work so first of all i'm going to add some media queries for the in here and mean width let's see so pixel so all these uh, styles we declare inside this uh, media query will affect after the width of the screen increase 750 so if the screen is more than 750 starting from 751 so these styles will uh, start to effect from that point onwards so what we are going to do is uh, so once the screen is in the bigger screens we are going to change the uh, flex values for main and sidebar 1 and sidebar 2 so starting with uh, main I'm going to give flex value of 3 and for the sidebar 1 uh, I'm going to give the I'm going to give so I'm going to do some trick here so not a trick actually so if you know the media so I'm going to create another media query here and if the screen width is more than let's say 600 pixels So I'm going to give a flex value of 1 for the sidebar in here if you can remember so here we have two classes sidebar and sidebar 1 so sidebar is common for both those sidebar uh, elements and I'm going to give a flex value of 1 for all these side pass here okay so you can see this take into action so what happens is once the screen side exceeds 600 pixel so you can see this value get into action so the sidebar gets flex one sidebar two get flex one so it equally uh, you know it, it it takes the equal size equal length or equal width of the existing row and once it increased to over 750 pixels so this gets of flex value of 3 and all these three values come into a single row and uh, occupy the width of the screen with the 1 to 3 ratio so like this 1 1 3 so this main content gets three times the sidebar one so that's how it works and now I'm going to change the order once it hits uh, 750 plus width so I'm going to change the order so sidebar 1 should be at first and I think uh, sidebar 2 will be the order of 3 and the main will be order 
2 here okay so 1 2 3 like this you can see how it's working so this is the CSS to create this easy uh, template using HTML and CSS So some of the some of the things that you may forget is to add this hundred percent. So we have to add this hundred percent to get the full width. If it's not, you know, uh, if you remove this hundred percent from the main content, you can see. So yeah, footer will be at the last because we add this uh, margin top to auto, but this section won't get the entire height. So that's why we need to add the height here so what you guys do is you can uh, follow up this tutorial and also you can experiment by yourself remove these height values remove these margin auto values remove these flex properties to row to column and see how it's working and if you have any problems just drop a comment and i'm here to help you guys and if you haven't still subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and it shows a great support for me and let's meet with another awesome full stack tutorial as day.